Welcome to Vacaville. As you'll see, creating biologics is an incredibly complex and fastidious process. To prevent our technicians from contaminating any of the cells, they're required to wear clean suits, like me. Today I'll take you on a behind-the-scenes tour of what came of Genentech's decision more than 20 years ago to open one of the world's largest biotech manufacturing facilities. Follow me. Biologics are made by employing genetically modified cells to work like mini factories to produce therapeutic proteins, or antibodies. The seed lab is where the cell culture manufacturing process begins. Like planting seeds, we start with a small vial of genetically modified living cells from one of our working cell banks and combine them with a liquid growth medium designed to support the growth of cells in these 20-liter vessels. The ultimate goal is to take the small number of working cells and provide them the right food and conditions to multiply into the trillions. Every step is critical, but a good start is key. The cell culture is monitored constantly and soon needs a bigger home. From the 20-liter vessels in the seed lab, the cell cultures continue to grow. As the cells require progressively larger and larger tanks, a closed system transfer method moves the cells while reducing the risk of contamination. It all leads to these 25,000-liter behemoths. These vessels are all called bioreactors, since they're regulated for temperature, pH, and oxygen to create the optimal growing conditions for the cell cultures. Quality control is paramount. Since biologic medicines are produced in living organisms, they're very complex and require rigorous controls. But once all the conditions are met, it's time for harvesting. After the cell replication process, the next critical make-or-break step is to harvest the targeted proteins, or antibodies, that the cell cultures have produced. To separate the cells from the medium that has encouraged the cell culture to grow, they are spun at very high speeds in centrifuge units like this. Yes, it's very loud. Then, high-capacity filters, or as our technicians call them, depth filters, isolate the specific proteins further. The manufacture of biologics requires two vastly complex fields of expertise, biology to grow the cells, and now biochemistry to isolate the targeted proteins. These purifying chromatography columns are where biochemistry takes over. It's a multi-step process that is individualized for each medicine and where further impurities are removed, including undesired proteins, DNA, and viruses. In the end, we've purified our biologic, so we're left with only a highly specific molecule, which makes up each medicine. The last step here in Vacaville is preparing our proteins for the final product formulation. To recap, desired antibodies have been grown, harvested, purified, and concentrated. Here, they're transferred into containers like this called cryogenic vessels for frozen storage. They're then shipped to other sites for further processing into the final product and packaged for patient delivery. The entire process here takes up to several months to complete and, as you've seen, is no easy feat. For over 20 years, Genentech's increased production capability of biologics has touched the lives of millions of people, including those affected by some of the world's most devastating diseases, like cancer, cystic fibrosis, asthma, blindness, and heart disease. These patients and their loved ones continue to benefit from our medicines every day. That's pretty epic. Thanks for joining us on the tour.